In my video proving the formula for kinetic energy, I got this question. Why is the average velocity the initial velocity plus the final velocity over 2? Well, when acceleration is constant, the velocity will be a straight line graph. Say we want to find the average velocity between two points, at A and B, for example. Because the graph is linear, it's very easy to see that the average velocity will be the midpoint, the point exactly in the center. If you're still not convinced, let's prove it. The average is given by this integral, the integral of the velocity from a to b, and then divided by the length of this interval, so b minus a. If we have a straight line graph, the most general form is y equals mx plus c. But here we don't have y, we have the velocity. And the variable is time, not x. So we have v equals mt plus c. Let's integrate this. We'll get m over 2 t squared plus ct. Now let's plug in the bounds. We get the following. Okay? Now we can factor the b squared minus a squared, and that will give us this expression. Notice that the b minus a will cancel. And we're left with m over 2 times b plus a plus c. Now let's combine this into a single fraction. We'll distribute and then give c a denominator of 2, like that. And then we can combine the fractions. Now let's switch the order of these terms and write the 2c as c plus c. And then we'll give 1c to the ma and leave 1c for the mb. The reason we're doing this rearrangement is that, remember v is equal to mt plus c. So when t is equal to a, the velocity will be ma plus c, and this is exactly what we have here. And when t is equal to b, then the velocity will be mb plus c, and that's exactly what we have here. So the average velocity works out to be v at a plus v at b all over 2. And that's precisely what I said in the video. It's the average of the initial velocity and the final velocity. So hope that helps.